Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how you can integrate Zoom into the Calendly. In the previous video, I have shown you how you can create a free account on Calendly and how you can start an online free appointment scheduling on your website. In the previous video, we created the online booking calendar and we integrated that calendar into the WordPress website. Now we are going to integrate the Zoom into Calendly. When you integrate Zoom into Calendly, you will be able to create an online Zoom meetings automatically. So people will be able to go to your calendar on your website. They will be able to book the appointment and the Zoom meetings will be created automatically. All the information will be sent to the client. They will receive an email with the Zoom meeting details. So whenever you want to start the Zoom meeting, you can log into your Zoom account and from there you can click on start and the Zoom meeting will be started. And all this is available for free. So you will have a free Zoom account and a free Calendly account. And using these free accounts, you can create the free online Zoom meeting scheduling using Calendly. So let's see how does this work. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the Calendly account. In the previous video, I have shown you how to create an account on Calendly. I have also shown you how you can integrate Calendly into the WordPress website. So I'm on the dashboard. At the top, you will see integrations. Click on integrations. Under integrations, you will see many different options such as you can integrate Microsoft Edge. You can integrate on Firefox. You can integrate it with Outlook, Analytics, Google Meet. We are looking for Zoom. So at the end, you will see the option here, Zoom. Let's click on Zoom. Let's look at the requirements. You need a Zoom account. If you do not have, you can create a free Zoom account and your Zoom account administrator must pre-approve Calendly. So let's click on Connect Zoom. Now, in this case, I'm going to create a new account. If you already have a Zoom account, you can simply sign in to your account. If you have Google account, you can sign in using your Google account. I'm going to create a new account. So click on sign up free. And I'm going to use a Google account. So I'm going to select Google. And from here, I'm going to select one of my Google accounts. It is asking me to create an account. So I'm going to create an account. All right, so I'm logged into the Zoom. All right, so we have created an account. Let me go back to the Calendly dashboard. Let's go to integration again. Look for Zoom and connect Zoom again. Now we are logged into the Zoom account. It is asking you for the permission. So I'm going to allow and these are the settings. If you want to go through all the settings, you can check all the settings. And once done, you can click on allow. Here you need to set Zoom as the location. So let's click on go to event types. Now these are the event types that we have created. In the previous video, we created this one. So I'm going to select this one. And here you will see what event is this. And in the previous video, we selected this as the in-person meeting. Now we are going to change it and we are going to select Zoom. So here, let me do it again. You can click on edit, in-person meeting, change it to Zoom, click update. Now it is a Zoom meeting. So here in the description box, I can mention that the meeting will be held on Zoom call. So let's save and close. All right, so the meeting is now not in-person meeting. This will be a Zoom meeting. So now let's go back to the website on which we have this calendar. So I'm going to refresh it. Now you can see that the location has been changed. The web conferencing details provided upon confirmation. Uh, this is the description. So let's see how does this work. I'm going to select tomorrow. And I'm going to select 9 a.m. Click next. And I'm going to enter my details here. So I have entered a comment here, testing the form and click on schedule event. You will see the confirmation you are scheduled with this person. And these are the details 9 a.m. to 9.30 Friday tomorrow. This is the time and it will show web conferencing details to follow. A calendar invitation has been sent to your email address. All right, so now let's go to the Calendly and go to the home page. Now, if you can go to scheduled events, under scheduled events, you will see all the upcoming events. 
if I click on it, you will see the details. This is a Zoom web conference. So this appointment has been booked. Now, when you want to start the meeting, you can go to your Zoom account. Let me refresh it. And you can go to meetings. And under meetings, you will see that a new meeting is connected automatically. The Zoom is integrated with Calendly and it has created a new meeting automatically. If you, so when you are ready, you can go to your Zoom account and click on start and it will start the meeting. Now one email will also be sent to the client. So let's go to the email and see if we have received any email. So I'm going to log into the email. This is not the client's account. This is the admin account and the admin will also get the email from Calendly. Now let me log into the account of the visitor. Now here I'm logged into the account of the client and you can see that the client will also get an email with the meeting details. They will get the link to join to the Zoom meeting. Now if they want to join the meeting, they can simply click on this link and they will get logged in to the Zoom account and the Zoom meeting will start. Now if the client wants to cancel or reschedule the meeting, they will also get the links to cancel or reschedule the Zoom meeting. From here, they will again go to the Calendly. Let me show you. I want to reschedule. I'm going to click on it and it will go back to the calendar. And from here, they can reschedule the meeting. If they want to cancel it, they can cancel it. So this is how you can integrate Zoom into Calendly. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.